guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look that I'm wearing right now. It is a rose gold inspired Valentine's Day look. Um, I know that a lot of people like to do something a little bit softer for Valentine's Day, but for those of you who are like me and like to wear a lot of black and also are maybe going to be going more out and doing something for Valentine's Day, um, this look will definitely work. It's super glamorous, but it's not too over the top where it's like in your face. This video is also a collab with the beautiful Re off of YouTube. I will link her channel and stuff down below. Make sure you check it out. She is also doing a Valentine's Day inspired look. Um, she's amazing. If you haven't checked out her channel already, of course, like I said, it will be down below. And make sure you go check it out and tell her I sent you. I'm also using one of the shadows from the Where the Night Is palette. Um, by Colourpop and Caffeine Lights, who, if you don't already know, I, she is my favorite. I love her. I watch her channel, like, religiously. I check every day to see if she has a new video. I use the color Weenie, which is, um, if you don't know or don't watch her channel, it is a, a shadow named after her third dog, Celine. Um, she calls her Weenie. So, yeah. It's a really true bronze rose gold color. Um, more on the rose gold side. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's a true rose gold color. And if you don't have anything from ColourPop, these shadows are to die for and they're only $5. So I would run and go pick this up. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out um, Ree's channel as well and give her a video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see how I did this look, just keep watching. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to prime my eyelids using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Medium. I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers and then I'm going to set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in, I think I got Natural Buff this time. It's a little bit li um, lighter than the Natural Beige. Then I'm going to take NYX, um, it's just a matte eyeshadow and blame it on Midnight and I'm going to use that as a transition color. And I'm going to take just a big fluffy brush and kind of blend that everywhere. Then I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro Matte Palette and take, take Pink Mauve and I'm going to blend that into the crease as well just to add a little bit more of a rosy effect to it. To add a base, I'm using my NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids and blend it out with my finger. It's going to um, keep the ColourPop shadow in place and it's going to reduce transferring a little bit but I need a better base with these shadows um, to make it so that it's the metallic stuff doesn't get everywhere. And the star of the show is Weenie by Colourpop and Kathleen Lights. She's my favorite. I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger and I'm going to blend and pat that all over the lid. It is a very pretty true rose gold color. I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm just going to blend it out, um, blend the harsh lines out with a, my fluffy brush again. Shout out to Kathleen Lights. These shadows are amazing. If you haven't gotten them, I think you should. Then to add just a little bit more depth, I'm going to take the color Burgundy from my Lorac Pro Matte Palette and I'm going to lightly blend that into the crease. I didn't want to do it too dramatic just because I wanted to keep it kind of romantic but glam at the same time. And using a um, clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend that all out. This one is the Morphe Gunmetal Blending Brush. Then taking the color Lovely by ColourPop as well. This is not part of the Kathleen Lights ones, but I did just want to add a little bit more of a pop in the center. It's a true champagne color. It's amazing. Taking the color Bare, I'm going to highlight my brow bone, and I also put some of the color Linen, I believe, um, up there as well. And then I'm just going to make a really ugly face and coat my lashes with mascara. I decided to put on these Kiss um, lashes in Pretty. Um, I've never worn them before, but I really like them. So I'm just going to prime my face using my Benefit Professional, and I've also been mixing it with my Nivea um, Post Shave Balm. Um, I use the Professional to blur my pores out, and then the Post Shave Balm prolongs my makeup really, really, really well. So this is, again, um, something Kathleen Lights uses. <laughs> Then I decided to pick up my winter shade of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and I am in 104 Golden Tan. Um, I've been reaching for this one a lot more lately instead of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I think that this one just stays matte a lot longer. The only issue is that sometimes, depending on what shade you get, it oxidizes a little bit. I mean, nothing that concealer and stuff can't fix, but it can get a little rough some days. I'm just going to blend that out using my Morphe Gunmetal Flat Shader. I think that's what it's called. 
And then I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. NC30. And I'm going to use that to cover up my dark circles underneath my eyes. With nursing school, I've just been so tired. I feel like my dark circles are so bad. Using a damp Miracle Complexion Sponge, I'm going to blend that out. And this concealer is so heavy duty and it really covers up all the discoloration on your face. To highlight, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand just for a little um, more, what is it, dimension, brightness, whatever. I'm just going to highlight my face again because I needed some more. I'm going to go just on my cheekbones, basically, chin, and my forehead, and I'm going to blend that out using the same sponge. I don't know why I feel like I'm being so awkward in this voiceover. It's probably because Jason's sitting right here. Then I'm just going to set it using um, my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder again, and this is just a flawless, flawless concealer brush by e.l.f., and then I'm just going to set the rest of my face using a complexion brush by e.l.f. as well. And I promise my face is not that white in real life. It's just the lighting. <laughs> my favorite bronzer right now is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I think that it really um, smooths out my contour. I feel like I used to just kind of have a really choppy line. And this makes it look a lot more natural. So I'm going to go on my cheekbones, around my forehead, and around my chin. And then I'm going in with my NYX Contour Kit. And I've been using this shade. It's a little bit more warm and I really like it. So this is going to make my contour a bit more intense. And I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. I don't put it anywhere else except for down my nose. It's a little bit too dark for me to put around my hairline. <laughs> just carving out my nose. Then I'm just going to take um, the banana shade in that NYX Contour Palette and... Uh, define my contour just a bit more. For Valentine's Day, I really wanted my face to look super, super flawless, so I also put that banana powder underneath my eyes for another, some more added highlight. I decided to use my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Rich Rose. It is a super natural um, glow that it adds to the face, and I have been loving this combination. And then using my Jelly Pong Pong, I, just, I love saying that, um, highlighter. I will have it listed down below. I am putting that on my cheekbones and down my nose as a base for my powder highlighter. And what a surprise, I'm using Champagne Pop from my Becca Champagne Glow Palette. I'm going to put that on my cheekbones and I've also put a little bit of pearl in the center of it as well. And I have been loving the tip of the nose highlight, so I feel like well, it kind of looks like a reindeer, just not red. <laughs> then taking burgundy um, from my Lorac Pro Matte Palette, I'm going to use a flat definer brush and go on my lower lash line. And then taking pink mauve, I am or pink, yeah, pink mauve, I'm going to smoke that out. Using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And for my lip combo, I am using a Bella Pierre... Um, lip liner in cinnamon and I'm going to prep it for a liquid lipstick. With Valentine's Day I totally recommend using a liquid lipstick so that when you go out to eat or whatever you're doing it stays on all night. And I chose Americano by Ofra. I got this on a BoxyCharm and I've been really loving it. For an inner corner highlight I'm going to use the color Nude from my original Lorac palette and that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!